guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn a kind of acoustic guitar arrangement of The Scientist by Coldplay. So this is obviously mostly on piano, at least those parts I just played. And uh, we're just going to arrange it for guitar. It's going to be, it's going to have a bar chord in it. I know some people don't like bar chords, but we have to do it. And we have to have a capo at the fifth fret. So make sure you've got a guitar in standard tuning and just throw a capo on there and you'll be good to go. Now we're pretty much just going to follow the piano chords throughout. I know there's a real guitar that comes in towards the end especially, uh, but we're just going to kind of maintain uh, the chord progression, the main chord progression of the song the entire time, uh, like the piano plays. Alright, so let's start with this intro which is also the verse of the song. Now with this capo here at the fifth fret, I'm going to compare everything that I play to that. So I'm going to treat these as open strings. So if I want to play, say, an uh, G major chord, I'm just calling it G major, even though this is actually a C major now. But just so it makes it easy for us to visualize, I'll say like A minor or F, and you're just comparing everything to the capo. All right, so let's start now with an A minor seventh chord. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's just a regular A minor chord. Now pick up your third finger there, your ring finger. All right, so what we're going to be doing is kind of it's kind of a straight eighth feel, down, 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 and you're pretty much hitting the whole chord, and then just hit the, the two bottom strings. It's kind of like this, kind of just aim for the bottom of the chord for one hit, and then full chord. Now here comes that bar chord. We're going to do an F bar chord up here. Same rhythm there, so it's a full bar. Alright, so this next chord is a C major chord, but it has a G in the bass. So how are we going to play that? That would be a regular C like this. You can instead move this third finger, this ring finger, over to the sixth string. And that note you just left you're going to replace it with your little finger. So you still have that C major in there, you just have this low note. So that's the third chord, so far we have. Now we have a, a G sus4, don't worry about it, it's not that hard to play. We're basically just going to have a third fret here on the uh, low E string, then the third fret on the A string, and then the third fret on the B string. And kind of want to make that the top note. But those the D and the G are open in there. Really nice sound of chord. And that's it, just repeat them. So you'll continue to repeat that as the vocals come in, the verse. Uh, then we get to the uh, the chorus of the song, and that's going to sound like this. Alright, so that's got a little bit more activity towards the end of it. So it's going to start with that F chord. Kind of hanging out that. Then back to that C with the G in the bass. To that G sus4. It's the same chords there as in the verse. Then back to that F. Then we're just going to have the... Uh, D with the G in the bass, and then real quick he does this quick little man maneuver. And now, if you really want to just kind of hang on that chord, it'll sound fine, the chord you just came from, or you can attempt this to kind of recreate the piano part better. It's third fret on the A string, fifth on the D, fourth on the G, and third on the B string. 
Kind of hit that pattern twice. Then you're going to switch to, that'd be a C major 6 chord with that shape at least. So right here it's a F major 6. So we have 3rd fret on the A string, 2nd on the D and the G, then 1st on the B. So just from that, and then we just go to a G major chord. Now there's a little piano melody goes, so you can choose to do that as well. Just kind of strum a normal G, then just strum it to the open B, and then put your first finger down on that B, and then third fret. That melody's on the B string. All right, so that is the uh, entire chorus. Now we have an interlude section that they do twice as well. And that sounds like this. takes us back to the verse again. So let's start here with that C with G in the bass again. One full measure, then the F. For one full measure, then back to that C with G in the bass for two full measures. Then we're just to a standard A minor chord. Back to that F. This is kind of like the verse here. C with G in the bass. And that G sus4. And then it takes us back to the verse. So I'm gonna go through that interlude one more time. Here we go. As you go back to the verse, a lot of times in the verse when we previously were just doing the A minor 7, you can just do a straight A minor there. Sounds fine. I think they use more A minor as they go throughout the song instead of the A minor 7. So we pretty much just, we have all that and that guitar part comes in. Um, now that's just, you know, you're pretty much just going to be doing that same interlude part. And then it gets to the ending vocals where he's just kind of uh, doing a bunch of oohs and stuff. Now that is the, the, the verse chord progression that's going on there. Just an A minor, you don't need an A minor 7. He's keep, they keep repeating those four chords till the very end when they're going through those chords. And they stop on the C with the G in the bass. Alright, so it's pretty easy to follow if you know the song well, so listen to it a lot and then just try to follow along. And there's just basically three chord progressions to learn and they're all use a lot of the same chords, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.